Hi Virgo, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of March 15 to March 21st, 2021? What awaits for you in love? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at your energy, and then I'm going to look at the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to in love. So whoever that might be for you, whether it's someone that you're dating, someone that you're interested in, or just someone that you're in a relationship with, think about that person and let's see what messages we get. Starting off with your energy, Spirit, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. First card we have here is the Nine of Pentacles Reverse. So this is normally a card of being involved in, in a relationship, being in a relationship or being involved with someone. Um, it's a card of not being single, of being dependent on someone. Okay, what else do we have? We have the Four of Cups Reverse. <clears throat> So I get the sense of you kind of like rejecting someone here. So there, there seems to be an offer here of love that is being offered to you, but it does seem like you're rejecting it or wanting to reject it. It might be from someone um, outside of your relationship, a third party. Yeah, we have the Three of Wands, um, Reverse. <clears throat> Again, I feel like you're leaving someone behind here. You're getting rid of someone here. Again, this can be a third party situation. So it's like you're not waiting for someone anymore. You're not going to keep waiting for someone anymore. You're turning your back on someone. Okay, let's look at the energy of whoever it is that you're connecting to. What is their energy? Spirit, please show me the energy of whoever it is that Virgo is connecting to in love. Thank you, Spirit. And we have here the Six of Pentacles upright. So this represents an equal give and take in a relationship, a 50-50 relationship. So I feel like there is someone here um, who wants to have a balanced relationship with you. They want things to be um, harmonious between you two. And they, it, it feels like this is a giver also. It feels like this person wants to give something to you. Maybe this is someone who likes to shower you with gifts. Or just likes to help you whenever they can. Next card we have here is the Six of Cups Upright. So this is a card of the past, of thinking about someone from the past. So I feel like this person misses you. They're thinking about you and they miss you. They feel a really deep soul connection with you, a, a, a spiritual connection with you. And we have here the card of strength reversed that you might be um, connecting with a Leo. I almost feel like with the strength card reverse, they want to stop fighting with you. So for some reason, um, for some of you, you might be um, involved in an argument with this person. You two might be upset with each other or distant with, from each other. So it's like they, they don't want, because this represents um, a struggle when something, when someone is struggling here. Um, but when it's reverse, it's like they don't want to keep struggling with you. They want things to be easy between you two. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify now. I'm going to choose another deck here. And let's see if we can get some clarification. Let's see, what is this Nine of Pentacles about? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Spirit, please clarify this Nine of Pentacles, please. What is this Nine of Pentacles, please, Spirit? OK, 
Okay, so we have here the Knight of Rods Reverse. Knight of Rods Reverse. This can be a player energy, someone who likes to play games. So you might be, this might be the person that you want to get rid of here. Because again, I do sense a third party situation here. Someone who keeps insisting on, on being with you. Maybe someone who keeps texting you or messaging you. Let's get another clarification here, please, Spirit, for this Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. Uh, justice card reverse. Yeah, so the Justice card reverse means a relationship is... Um, it's not moral. So it's it's not a moral relationship. Um, it's not a decent relationship. Um... Because when this card is upright, it represents something that is that is fair. But when it's reversed, it can represent kind of like a cheating energy. Or someone who's um, married. Someone who's already involved. Yeah, so the, you, you might be connecting with someone who's already involved with somebody else. Who's committed to somebody else. That's what I'm getting there. I want to say it's like, it's not kosher. Something about this relationship is not kosher. You know, it's like, it's not... Um, it's not decent in the eyes of God. It's kind of like a way to say that. Okay, so just take a, take that as it resonates. Let's see what this Four of Cups reverse is about. Spirit, please clarify the Four of Cups, please. Reverse. Oh, here we have the Strength card reversed again. So again, it's like giving up on someone. Rejecting someone. Turning your back on someone. Not wanting to fight for something anymore. Not wanting to wait for something anymore or for someone anymore. Okay, let's look at um, this, the the cards for your person, the Six of Pentacles. What is this Six of Pentacles here? In regards to um, the, the person Virgo's connecting to Spirit. Okay, so we have here the Three of Cups Reverse. Um, third party situation again. Um, I feel like this person is involved, for some of you, this person is involved with somebody else. Um, second, like I said, um, a third party situation. And they want to drop the other person so that they can give their full attention to just one person. And have an equal balanced relationship with just one person. So they might be getting rid of someone from their past. Or they might be reconnecting with someone from their past. What is this Six of Cups spirit? Please clarify the Six of Cups. And we have here... Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so they are definitely missing someone from the past. Someone who gave them a lot of happiness. This is a card of ultimate happiness. So they're they're connecting with someone who makes them happy or they're wanting to connect with someone who makes them happy. This could be you, Virgo. This could be you. You might be the person who they want to reconnect with here. Um, if it's you, then they definitely see you as the one and as, as the person who makes them the most happy. Okay, and what is this strength card reverse? Let's... Um, clarify this last card. What is this strength card reverse spirit? Please clarify.
Okay, and we have here the Page of Rods Upright. So this is a card of communication. So um, this person wants to communicate with you, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like they've been um, fighting against themselves um, from, from communicating with you. They've been trying not to reach out to you, not to communicate with you. But it's like they don't want to keep um, fighting their emotions anymore. They want to reach out to you because you're the one who makes them happy. So yeah, so um, this reading is not going to resonate with everyone. Um, but I'm just going to leave it there. If it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye Virgo.